Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then please do stick around and subscribe if you enjoy it and if you've been here before you know that I hate a long introduction so let's just go straight into it. So today is a day of nesting so I really want to set this up. So this is the Tommy TP night and day prep machine. Is this like being a parent getting really excited for gadgets for your baby? Because I feel honestly like I've got a new coffee machine. Like I'm so excited. So I was gonna get the normal one because we're formula feeding, just due to our situation and like personal preference. I just thought it'd save me the job. Obviously like being a single mom, anything that's gonna help me, I'm just gonna do it. So I thought I'd save myself the job of like having to come down in the evening. And whilst I speak, I'm just gonna tidy up the sides because there's so many dishes everywhere and I just want a clean space. But yeah, I thought what I'd do is get it on Prime Day because I was, I was really hoping that it had a discount on there because it was about 135 is the price that I could see it for like at the least. Anyway, I got it on Prime Day for 89. Honestly, I could not be happier. I feel like it's such a good bargain. So I was gonna get the normal one, but the normal one was 79 and this one was 89. So I thought for an extra 10 pounds, if I get a few extra features on it, then why not? So that is what I did, got that. So I feel very organized in terms of everything now. But the plan today is because I'm 37 weeks tomorrow, I really wanna get the house sorted. I wanna do a deep clean. I need to pack a nappy bag, purely just because I don't desperately need to pack it as in like, I don't think I'll need it for a little bit, but if it saves me a job when she's here, then I think I'd just rather do that. So today's video is going to be very much nesting. Also, I just thought I'd go through my hospital bag, make sure that I had everything because I, when I last did a video on my hospital bag, it was more like packing baby girls, whereas this one is obviously packing for me. I hope I'm not taking too much. I feel like... As a first time mum, you just don't really know what to expect. <laughs> like, I'm just going into it with, with the mindset of I'd rather have too much than like not enough. Also, I'm gonna link the hospital bag checklist that I use in the description. You don't have to use that by all means, use your own. But I just sometimes think it is a bit easier someone just giving you access to your checklist because when I was like trying to find things for mine, I was looking at this person's checklist, this person's checklist and the NHS and videos and all that stuff. So I just think I'll save your job <laughs> and then we're fine. So the only thing about my kitchen is the surface space is really limited. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a breakfast bar here, but the time being, I've just got to work with the space that I have. So I'm just gonna show you. So as you can see, it's not gone a lot of surface space. This is the area that we've got to work with. And then here is literally just the dishes and stuff. So this, I reckon we can fit it in like here. So let's give it a go. I am honestly so happy with myself because I went to Aldi this morning at like 8 a.m. So I got all the bits that I needed. I don't have to stress over the weekend that I've not got any food in. I think what I'll probably need to do is go and buy some milk because Aldi don't do the milk I like. Apart from that, I feel like I've been so organised this morning. Saves me going out when it's really busy. I think because I feel heavy at the minute and I don't drive, which I hate. It's such a big insecurity like that I don't drive. And I've just passed my theory test and I have, I've done like 20 lessons, but I need to take a break now because obviously baby's coming in like the next few weeks. So my instructor is super chilled and he's really nice. He was like, whenever you're ready to begin again, like, let's just, like, just go, just message me. So I'm going to start again, probably end of August. Um, gives me, like, maybe a month, maybe, maybe, like, mid-September or something. I just really want to get back on it as soon as possible so that I can get my car. Because I just feel like I really want a car with a baby. Let me see if this lighting is a bit better. But yeah, I just really want a car if I'm going to have a baby. So this is what the prep machine looks like. Very bougie. I might give the sides a little wipe down. So here's the gap that I'm gonna attempt to slot this into. 
It's actually not that bad. And then I can move these here. Maybe I'll put the milk frother away until I need to use it. Now it's the process of actually setting it up. So, right. I'm gonna put this little light on. I got it from work through the day. So let's see if it makes a difference. Okay, that is quite good, really. I love a gadget. Right, so I'm gonna be super accurate. So a litre, and one litre of boiling water. Actually see. Place a large mug on the tray. Is that large enough? Oh, it sounds just like a coffee machine. <laughs> I don't know why this is exciting me so much, but it is. So I actually do have already these ones, which are the Tommy TV anti-colic. Then I have this one, which I got with this machine, which is an anti-colic. It's just a slow release tea. I believe it's like tea number one. And then I also bought two man bottles, which number one is for in case she doesn't like the bottles like the Tommy TP ones and won't take the milk from them so then I'll try these two but also it's for on the go because they're actually self sterilizing so I just think if I take her out of town and I'm in a restaurant or something I can just self sterilize and like make the milk there and then so that is the bottle situation I've got going on all right so the cleaning cycle's done this is a lot <laughs> I feel like it's good to do it all now and then it's easy to use. It is honestly driving me mad, this this machine. Like it's not, I think it's the filters the issue, but the filter isn't working. So it's not actually allowing the machine to fill up, but I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> I am hot and bothered to say the least. As you can see, it's got a stunning red light on there. It's just. The filter, I think, isn't filtering. Like, if I press the buttons, then it, it goes off. But that doesn't give me a great indication that it's a well-working machine. Right, that was um, traumatic, to say the least. Honestly, the pregnancy sweats are, like, next level ridiculous. So I don't know where to put you because I do kind of want to show you like what's in the bag because I'm going to check over my hospital bag. Take everything out and then put it all back in. So first of all, it's button down pyjamas. Right, so I have one button down nighty packed. I do have another one upstairs and I'm taking a pair of like long ones as well. I know that seems quite intense, like there's quite a lot. You just don't know how long you're gonna be in there. So I'll pack this one and I'll make a note of the fact that I need to pack the two. It's just because I wear the other two quite a lot and I don't wanna get in the cycle of like buying loads of new stuff for the hospital. Like I wanna save the money for Lila, like baby girl. And that's the most important thing. Maternity tops. So I've got a vest here, which is a stone colored one. And then the other one that I'm taking is this one. So I'm obviously wearing this one. Um, and then two soft bras. So my two tops and soft bras. I've got one top in here, two soft bras. I'll make a note to pack this top that I'm wearing. Um, flip flops and sliders. Sliders, I was gonna buy some new flip flops, which I still might to be honest, because they're like one pound from Primark, but it's the actual like getting into town to get this stuff. Um, when my back is like really sore and actually going anywhere at the minute is a bit of a task. So I'm going to keep these as an option. They are a bit filthy. Maybe they could have do with a wash because I just wear them around the house. A going home outfit. Going home outfit, I'm literally just going to go with leggings or joggers. Those two things I wear. So what I'll do is I'll just wash them um, a bit close to the time and put them in but I want to wear them up until that point because it's like the two coziest things I own. Electricals, so I do have a little case for electricals. In here currently I have my charger for the fan and a plug and then I'll just take my chargers that I have 
close to the time just obviously because I use them for my phone and stuff so I've got phone charger earphones and phone on there so I'm just going to put them in there because that's already ready to go in here I have so I have a little pump of aloe vera I have some body lotion some shampoo and some bubbles then I have some paracetamol then I've got some deodorant some like a small thing of nipple cream makeup wipes toothpaste and then i bought some combs because i really want to try the birthing combs to refer the pain and um, they mentioned it in my antenatal class i've seen like loads about it online but my antenatal um class leader just said like don't bother spending 20 pounds on a labor comb like just get some normal combs so i might i might actually try them now and see if like they're okay in my hands like they're big enough if not i might have to get some bigger ones but i do think it's like quite a good idea yeah i feel like that'll be fine then in this bag i've got a fan which is so good it actually doubles as a pram fan so my sister got me this my baby shower um for the pram for lila but i'll just take it and it can it can double as my fan for the hospital so i've charged that up then i've got a brush which actually might brush through my hair then I also just have a, a body spray. You know, I just want to smell nice and feel fresh. A water spray for when I'm in labour and I'm really hot. I also have another water spray that I need to make some homemade like spritz for bits because I don't want to buy the normal one because it's like nearly £30. No, thank you. So I'm going to make my own ones of those. Now for the postpartum bits. The most important bits so i don't know whether you'll see them i made a shorts on like making my own padsicles so they're in the freezer as we speak but you can like go on my shorts and see how i made those i did actually film like a clip for a video i think i accidentally deleted it unfortunately but i'll be using padsicles especially when i get home because obviously they're in the freezer i can't take them with me um i've got disposable underwear now i've just got some really cheap ones um, I think these were like literally £1.95 from Tesco from the baby aisle and this is what they look like. I've opened one to show you. So these are the stunning underwear. <laughs> so I've brought those. Um, I've brought 10 maternity pads. My antenatal class teacher said don't get heavy always um, because you should always get maternity pads because they're actually made of different materials. These are not sticky at all um, and it's like healing properties and, and stuff like that i don't know like it's just it's better for your skin to actually get them des like designated and designed for maternity wear and not always for period wear just gonna put that out there but you do you then i've got some nipple pads so the pumping aloe vera that i showed you earlier is for these so you get like a little sticker i mean you can put them on and they'll like collect up some milk Basically, because I am obviously like a single mom, Lila's dad is still going to be involved. So it just really is our situation that's going to mean that he needs to be able to feed her as well. So formula feeding is important to us. And also, I don't know how I feel about breastfeeding. Like I've, I've read some things about how difficult it can be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the mindset of like being completely open minded. And I'm going to 100% give her the first feed if I can. Um, and if my body lets me give her the first feed so that she gets the gift of life, like immunity, that's what my midwife said. And then if I'm enjoying it, then I'll continue it on. But if I'm not enjoying it or I, I don't think it's right for me, then I'm not going to continue it on just for the sake of continuing on. Then I have for the pads, the pad liners is, um, yeah, witch hazel pad liners. So these will be quite nice and quite cool. That is everything I've got like postpartum bits. So let me just make sure that is everything. And then I also do have maternity underwear that I'm gonna be taking with me as well. But again, like I'm wearing that like throughout the week and stuff. So I think the best case scenario is when I know that I'm in labor, I can just bungle this stuff in the wash and then quick dry it. So I do have a dryer, which is a lifesaver. So I think that's gonna be it for today's video because I have talked and talked and talked and done so many clips in this vlog that I just think I'm gonna round it off here and I'm gonna edit it now. And then for the rest of the evening, I think I'm just gonna watch some TV, 
one born every minute it's like my nightly routine to go to bed at like nine o'clock and watch one born every minute and just care myself about childbirth but yeah that's what i'm gonna do i hope you enjoyed this video if you have please do subscribe i'll put my tiktok and instagram on here if you want to follow there and then i will see you next week